Hey everyone, this is Mark Hirsch. I am so glad that you joined me today. Today, we have a very special guest. We've got Ofer Breyer here to talk about how super moms and dads raise super successful kids. I'm so glad that you joined us. Ofer is a world famous education hacker, and he's gonna teach us how to raise highly successful kids without spending all your money on private schools or enrichment programs, without having to shuttle your kids all over town, and without all this stress and hassle. Now, by the end of this live training, you will be able to nurture your child's talents and spend quality time together while having fun doing it. How does that sound to you guys? Would you like to be able to do that? Well, I am so excited to share this with you. Now, if you stick around to the end, I am gonna give you a gift. It's something really, really cool, but you've gotta stay till the end, okay? I'm gonna give it to you for free. You won't have to pay anything, and that's just for staying till the end. That's all you have to do. Sound intriguing? Yeah, you're going to love it when I show you. So before I bring on our guest, you will want to pay very close attention to what this man shares with you. So please give me your full attention now. If you have your cell phone in the other hand, if you've got other windows open on your browser, I want you to put those things away right now, okay? Close them for me right now. Yeah? All right. Are we ready? Yeah? All right. Well, I'm ready. Are you guys excited to meet Ofer? Ready for me to bring him on? Okay, I am so honored to introduce you moms and dads and grandparents to Ofer Breyer. Ofer is a world famous talent coach and he is the winner of the 2018 Tribeca Disruptive Innovation Award for this revolutionary program. Ofer has over 20 years of turning poor performers into stars. He's transformed schools all over the world. Ofer coaches the best and the brightest in Silicon Valley. And he's taught innovation at many leading companies, including Disney Imagineering, IBM, Hewlett Packard, major automakers and entire nations call on Ofer for his groundbreaking techniques. And using this methodology, Ofer's son got to attend college at the age of 13. Ofer developed this methodology because the educational system hasn't changed in decades. It's not preparing our kids for a world where robots and artificial intelligence will outperform humans and replace many of the jobs that exist today, right? You've seen all the change already happening all around us. Do you think that's going to accelerate? Yeah, you're darn sure it will. A child who's prepared for the future must be capable in art, design, engineering, technology, and business. That's what makes them entrepreneurial and innovative. So are you ready to meet him? Wanna welcome him? I'm ready. Ofer, thank you so much for making the time to join us today. Hello, Mark. Hello, everyone. It's a, it's a pleasure for me to be here and share whatever I know. Well, that's awesome. Isn't this guy great? Ofer, I, I want to ask you a question before we dive in. What <clears throat> makes you and your award-winning methodology so different from everything else out there? You know, Mark, when I was uh, pretty young, you know, like going to first grade, uh, I found that um, uh, formal education was a struggle for me. And the only reason I was able to flourish somehow is because I discovered that there are other ways, uh, which what we will call now the secrets of unlocking what later I called uh, mathematical imagination or basically imaginative mathematics. And this changed my life forever when I found it. And I think I was in the fourth grade when I started to find that this is the, 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 the essence of things. Um, because the results were exciting, um, I thought that what I want to do in my life is to teach it to others. The rest yeah. of my life you know and basically i devoted my entire life thousands of hours to perf thousands tens of thousands you know to perfect to um, this methodology that i call fast which stands basically for future proof adaptable skills transfer mm -hmm. it means basically that you can innovate in any field that you want okay with your creative thinking ability as long as you have it right mm -hmm. so yeah um you know during the years, since I was, uh, I believe, 10 years old, and I'm 62 now, I've had the pleasure, and I'm telling you, it's a real pleasure to work with thousands of <clears throat> students who became very successful, with thousands of parents and educators around the world. So for me, it's about my life passion, okay? And I'm very, I would say, I'm extremely passionate about the results we're achieving today in schools. And, and, and I can't wait just to listen to the parents here and to learn from them how it's going for them, how they are how they are going to grow their own children, how they're going through the experience. Because for me, it's just a learning process to make everything better and uh, 
and to give opportunity, uh, you know, to the to the kids and as well as to the parents. Wow, wow! I am so excited. It, parents, isn't this guy great? Want to dive in and learn more about Fast? Yeah, let's do that now. Uh, Ofer, you just started to offer the Fast methodology for the first time to parents in North America just this year, because in some countries the schools are very slow to adopt new methods. You know what I'm talking about, parents? How they teach for the test, right? Look. I'm very proud to be an American. I absolutely love my country, yet we've got to face the facts. The education system in the USA is pretty mediocre. Guys, you've heard of this, right? The US ranks 38th out of 71 countries in math and 24th in science. That's really disappointing, right? Public schools are failing us, aren't they? You know this already, right? Well, we can't trust that low performing schools are gonna prepare our kids for the future. And that's why so many parents homeschool. Do you homeschool? Well, even if you do, this concerns all of us, right? If, if you have a kid, this is the sort of thing that you pay attention to, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, Mark, um, it makes a lot of parents and people around the world to feel that they should do something. However, they don't know exactly what to do, but you, you can hear, you know, um, uh, leaders of countries saying we should change education and uh, leaders of companies we should change in our family we raised we erased totally the word should we change mm. education i think should is you know is, is, is a bad message to ourselves if there is something that you should just do it definitely definitely well th that's what we're going to get into right now uh take a second moms and dads as we get going here i want you to visualize what would it mean for you to raise highly successful kids because you can prepare them in a way that no school ever could. So take a moment and close your eyes. Could you imagine what it would be like if your child is an academic all-star, when schools label your child as, as being gifted, when your child's teachers tell you how well they're doing? Can you imagine your child really being ready, armed with the skills that are needed to succeed in high school and in college and beyond? Can you picture that? Your child graduating, your kid getting an academic scholarship, can you imagine how proud you'd feel? If you already achieved that, you'd feel like a super parent, right? Does this sound like the kind of future that you want to experience? Well, everyone who's taking this training right now can be a super parent with this revolutionary system. Believe it, yeah. You can open your eyes again, okay? If you knew that your kid will be able to progress 10 times faster, be able to learn the thinking skills that he or she needs to be a huge success in school. Would you be willing to do something just a, a little different? Would you be willing to unplug and spend seven minutes each day, just seven minutes of quality time with your child? And could you imagine having endless ideas for how to play with your four to eight year old? Would you love that? You think your kids would enjoy it too? You bet they would. Spending more quality time together, that sounds good to you, yeah? You and your kids would love that, right? Yeah, you know, Mark, um, <laughs> I use the same method to support yeah. our own uh, 13 years old child. And um, starting just a couple of years ago, you know, training him through those you know, games and concepts, he was recently was accepted at 13 to college oh. to study economics. And, and for years, I groomed my country's best and brightest here in Israel. Wow, that, that's amazing. And, you know, yeah, I, I want to know more about what did you do to help make Israel one of the top countries in innovation? Don't you guys want to hear that too, moms and dads? Yeah, Ofer? Yeah, you know, it's 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 quite simple. I will give you um, a list of games that I've created through the years, okay? And um, uh, of course, I will give you the theory behind the, the fast methodology so you can understand. And so there, there will be a meaning to, to the game you're playing. And you will see within a week, how it changes the way you think, nevertheless, your child. But, you know, to get results with children, especially with your own child, you need to put time. Yeah. You need to be consistent. You need to add it to your daily routine. I mean, it's your, it's your child. And you need to be willing to be really involved and do something for your child's future. Yeah, and we're, we're talking about seven minutes a day, right? You guys can do that, can't you, mom, dad? Yeah, you can make that time for your kid, right? So make me a promise. Promise that you will devote seven minutes each day just for the next 30 days. That's about three and a half hours playing with your child over the next month. Could you do that, mom? 
Seven minutes, could you do that, Dad? If you can make that time for your child, that would be just great. Okay, we're going to show you how to do this now and to raise highly successful kids without spending all your money on private schools and without expensive enrichment programs, without having to shuttle your kids all over town and without all the expense and stress. By the end of this training, you're going to have a proven award-winning system that's easy to follow so you can nurture your child's talents and spend more quality time together doing it. You following me here? Yeah? Ready for the three big secrets? Well, at least I'm ready. <laughs> okay, well, uh, the first secret is this. Schools do not teach the three skills that will be the most valuable in the future. The second secret is that you can boost your child's academic performance in ways that are really fun. And the third secret that I'm going to show you is how you can strengthen your child's talents. And you do not need to be an expert or even hire an, an expert to do that. Mom and dad, you with me? You guys want to hear more on this? All right. You want them to show us? Okay. Grandparents, you with me too? Okay. Ofer, do you want to uh, take over and tell us more about the first secret? Uh, I'll be more than happy to. Well, I'll tell you this, Mark, um, and all of you. I mean, sorry. Uh, the first secret, schools do not teach those three skills that will be most valuable in the future. Most schools still teach what is considered to be right um, 20 years ago, or maybe 10 years ago, uh, that's on, you know, on, you know, when the, we are lucky. The real skills um, that we're going to, to, to need in the future, okay, are not a part of the curriculum in schools. And most parents believe the schools are preparing kids by teaching them math. They believe that math is the answer for everything. Hmm. However, we need to know that children are incapable of understanding math until the age of 11. The, the point is, that the brain is not bi biochemically and biologically is not ready to understand mathematics because mathematics is about abstract. And if you look at kids when they're young, the only thing they want to play with is imagination. So mm -hmm. imagination is the opposite of abstract. To imagine something means something in, in to imagine something in your uh, imaginative world or in your real world. But that's the point. I mean, m math numbers are nothing for the child. One plus two means nothing unless it becomes something useful for the child in his imaginative world. So we believe that learning to read, of course, is an important skill, right? All of us. That's what we believe, right? Mm -hmm. However, we need to remember that the computer can read 20 pay 20,000 pages in one minute. Wow. And, and artificial intelligence already is being able not only to read, even to analyze and interpret what it reads. If you ask questions, a machine that, uh, that an AI machine, after reading, it will be able to elaborate on it and give you some answers and give you some thoughts even. The machines today have also understanding of meaning uh, and nuances and so on. So mm -hmm. how your child's reading will be able to compete with that ever? That's crazy. Yeah. So we also, all of us believe that kids need to learn science, right? So maybe they can become, let's say, a doctor or something. But you know, even artificial intelligence today threatens to put most of the most of the doctors out of job in the next fifteen years. You know, like they have done, you know, in 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 other fields. You know, when people lost jobs because machine was able to do even better. Okay, there is there is um there is a guy who used you know to 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 work for for he's still working for IBM. Okay, and he was he was able to to tell us that if you take a doctor. A doctor can read, um, you know, um, five research or ten research uh, um, files per week, while artificial intelligence can read uh, two hundred thousand of them in less than ten minutes. Wow! So now, there's there, you will not find any profession, I believe, in the world that not will not be that will be unaffected. Okay, and schools do need do not teach for that tomorrow. The tomorrow means we talk with AI and not even sometimes not human to human. So in the past month, okay, I was um, uh, contacted to provide this fast methodology to Singapore uh, school systems, uh, which is why they consider to be the best schools in the world, okay? However, they don't produce enough innovators and the future is about innovation. Wow, wow, it is really scary how fast these things are changing, isn't it? it I remember, and I'm sure you guys do too, and just how simple things used to be. And technology is just gaining speed exponentially, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So 
let's talk about the first okay um secret in the three skills that the, the children your child really needs yeah and the, the three of them are very simple one of them is being called pattern recognition it's hard to recognize patterns okay dynamic patterns passive patterns you know design patterns how machine works and everything else Hmm. Then to be able to break it into parts and redesign from them. So what we call pattern design, how to break into parts, something that you've seen and reconnect it in a different way. And, and the, the, the last part, of course, is analogy, which is the basic, all the three, the pattern recognition, the pattern design, and the ability to make analogies fast and accurate. These are the basis of what, what is being called polymath thinking. These hmm. are the ABCs of the language of innovation. Wow, that, that is just amazing, isn't it? So it's pattern recognition, pattern design, and analogy. So it sounds pretty simple, right? You guys in the audience, you guys are following, yeah? Do you want them to tell us more about that second secret now? Yeah, uh, okay, keep going, keep going, Lofer. Okay, the second secret is, is um, that you can boost your child's academic performance in ways that are really fun. You know, you don't need to drill facts into your child's head. In the edge of Google, for God's sake, why would you do that? All of the facts are all, the, all of the facts. I mean, that you can see, they are on your fingertips. Pe people can search. Okay, it's not important to remember so much information. There, there is a need to remember some information, yes, but not all of it because you, you need to know how to find it. I mean, you can spend hours showing uh, your kids uh, f I know, flashcards, and they will memorize things. So and so and you can read with them and play with them, but what <laughs> what your child is really getting an edge by okay your child is getting an edge by memorizing something faster than other kids do, so maybe they will get a slight advantage by memorizing, but it's totally slight advantage because if another child can just search on Google you know go to Wikipedia in less than a second, he will find more information than ever. You know, whenever we sit at home and, 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 and our son will ask us or my daughter will ask us, Offer, can you explain to me about that thing? So why do you ask me? Click Wikipedia. You will find a better explanation that I can explain to you in a subject that I'm not an expert in. But, you know, we have parents, we want to be, um, you know, heroes. Of course, I can teach you everything in the world. No, you can't. Can you explain blockchain to your children? Not for sure. So memorization, okay, is not the same as teaching them thinking my methodology teaches kids to think while they're having fun uh, th that sounds great doesn't it wow it doesn't seem that hard right guys at the beginning of this live training session i promised you that if you stick around to the end i am going to give you a gift it's something really really cool but you've got to stay till the end to get it so stick around okay we, we have one more secret super mom super dad you guys ready for the third secret now yeah Ofer, what are the details of the third secret? <clears throat> the third secret I'm going to show you is how you can strengthen your child's talents. I would say multi-talents. And you don't, need to, you don't need even to be an expert. You don't have to be an expert in any of those fields to do it. As parents, we often feel too busy to spend time with our children. Okay? And we are unsure of ourselves. Do we do the right thing? I mean, look, look at your first child and then look at your second child, how many mistakes you have done with the first child. And, and you understand that you're not only were unsure at that time, you're still unsure about your second child, okay? And of course, we are afraid to make mistakes because mistakes means that our child will not you know, survive the future. You see, we cannot be experts in every field. And you know what? You don't need to be an expert in every field. You just need to follow a precise method. That's the essence of everything. You just need to play a game with the children. You need to play a game that will show you, okay, how to play or even how to create new plays with the children so you can be creative. And, and if you invest only seven minutes per day, you will be doing something fun together, of course, okay? And at that time, your child will discover how to think in patterns. He or she will be able to recognize patterns everywhere to construct them, to transfer them to anything. So imagine you can show your child how to play 36 melodies and you can do it in seven minutes. But your child is saying, oh, I like music quite well, you know. I also love dancing. 
how can I use the lesson from music in dancing? And imagine you are capable of explaining it to him easily in less than 30 seconds, how to transform the knowledge from music to dance, from dance to mathematics, from mathematics to arts, from arts to engineering, to robotics. Imagine that everything can be transferred in the world. Every data, every knowledge, every skill can be adaptable to many areas. So now children, they light up and they become so excited because they see it everywhere. And, and you know, I've seen those children, they, they, got, uh, they get out of class or they, got, they want to show it to their friends, to their family, to grandma, to grandpa, to their sisters, to their brothers. They just want to show it, what they explore, because exploration is the essence of everything, isn't it? At least for yeah. children. Yeah, definitely. And you can do this with your kids. Yeah, you can. You guys getting this? Mom and dad, the grandparents who are with us? This is making sense, right? Well, there's an old way of doing things, and that's relying on the school system, running the kids all over town to enrichment programs and after school activities, dance and soccer practice and tutoring, or plugging your kids into a device or a movie. And there is a new way. It's a disruptive innovation in how to teach our children. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. Ofer, I, I want to thank you for joining us on the live training. And I'm going to ask that you please stick around until the end as well. We're going to handle some questions from the audience later. Sure, Mark. I will be here forever as long as you need me. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Uh, isn't he great? He, he's amazing. G can you guys imagine having easy ways of being more engaged with your kids, spending quality time, just seven extra minutes a day? You could give that to your kids, right? It's not too much to ask, is it? Seven minutes is really easy, and I'm excited now to get into this method, right? Are you guys ready? Well, let me ask you a question. How would you like Ofer's help with this? How would you like to work with Ofer to implement what we just talked about? Are you guys okay with me showing you what that's all about? What's in the package that we're offering? Look, if it's not okay with you, it's not. But if you want me to share it with you, please let me know. All right. Yeah, I see some people typing in the chat. Yeah, okay, cool. Then, uh, you know, the, the past... 30 minutes, it's been a great time. It's been really time well spent, right? But the hour that we have together is not going to be enough for us to give you all the tools in Ofer's award-winning system. His methodology is changing education across the globe. And we have a special offer so that you can get everything you need to know. And if you act fast, I'm going to give you a very special deal. Look, all of us spend money on our kids. Taking a four, family of four out to the movies costs at least 60 bucks. We take our kids to Chuck E. Cheese, the trampoline park. We buy them apps. We pay for their enrichment programs. We make use of our disposable income one way or another. Sound familiar? Yeah. Well, what we have for you is something that will be fun and help your kids. Are you guys open to that? It sounds good. Yeah. All right. Well, here's what you're going to get. The full video recordings from Ofer's recent parents workshop in Toronto. This was a five day workshop where he went into depth on the fast methodology and Ofer shows you exactly what super moms and dads like you can do to raise successful kids. Now I've watched that program several times. It's awesome. The parents who attended the workshop, they paid $3,300. Now the second thing that you're going to get is, is Ofer's accelerated program. You know, you don't need to know how to build an airplane to go fly someplace. You, you just have to buy a ticket, right? And that's what the accelerated program lets you do. You can start playing these enriching seven minute games with your kids right away. And there's a new offline game to play every day. The next thing that's included is live Q and a sessions with Ofer. We're going to do those twice a month and Ofer commands $500 per hour for, for, for just his time. And you'll get to join him for three hours each month. He'll answer all your questions. He wants to make sure that you understand the fast methodology and help you stay on track playing the games. And you'll also get access to the private Facebook member community where you'll share your experiences with other super moms and super dads, just like you. These are parents who also care enough to invest their time. These are parents who are like you committed to giving their children an edge in the future. The total value of what we're offering is $23,388. This is what one super mom said in the Toronto workshop. She said, and I quote, it changed a lot of my previous conceptions of education. This is really impactful in terms of what I can do at home to better prepare my children for the future. And another super mom who claimed that she was not a math person said, now I'm excited about math. I'm excited to transfer the same excitement to my kids to have them be able to see math everywhere. This program, we call it Games of Genius, has worked for parents who have attended the workshop, 
It's worked for top Israeli students, leading companies including Disney Imagineering and IBM. And it's being implemented now in schools all around Europe. It's working for so many people. Do you think it could work for you, mom, dad? Yeah, I believe so too. You know, when I began working with Ofer, I said to him, in bringing this to parents in North America, we've got two choices. The first option is to give it away as cheaply as possible and just try to get as many parents as possible to use this groundbreaking approach and prepare their children for success. And the second option requires a little more investment from you parents. But in exchange, Ofer can devote far more time and resources to guarantee your success in using the system. Those were our two choices. Does that make sense? You guys following me, mom, dad? Yeah? Okay, good. The way we see it, you, you have two choices as well. And your two choices are this. You can invest some time and some money. And in minutes from now, you could start to play these enriching games with your child. Over the next few weeks, at your own pace, you can learn the fast methodology. And every day, you'll have fun enriching games to play for seven minutes a day. Or you can end this training session. You can go to bed tonight, just like any other night. And tomorrow you could sit around and do exactly the same thing that you did today with your kids. You have that choice, right? You have to decide which one is more exciting. You have to decide what you want in your life. Do you want to go back to doing exactly what you did yesterday? I'm guessing not because otherwise, you know, why do you stay and watch this training? You want to make sure that your kid succeeds and you can't do that by going back to doing what you did yesterday. You can't do it by trusting the school curriculum or spending a fortune on classes and tutors or leaving your child's future in the hands of other people. This is your choice. You see that, right? Mom, dad, grandparents. Well, I'm going to make it even easier for you. I'm going to back Games of Genius up with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Sign up today. And if you don't like it for any reason, I don't care if it's 29 days, 23 hours, and 59 minutes from now, you just let me know and we will give you your money back. Here's what you guys are going to get. The full video recordings from Ofer's recent parents workshop in Toronto. I, I told you, I've watched this thing several times. It is truly awesome. You'll also get Ofer's accelerated games program so that you could start playing these award-winning games seven minutes a day with your child right now. You'll also get live Q&A sessions with Ofer twice a month. Access to the private Facebook member community where you can get support and encouragement and ideas from other super parents like you. It's a ton of great stuff, right? Can you see the value in all of that? Yeah, you get it. Well, I'm going to make it an even better deal. You guys want that, mom and dad? All right, so for anyone who signs up in the next 24 hours, I'm going to give you a 50% savings on Ofer's upcoming live event in Orlando, Florida. It's planned for this summer. You'll join Ofer and 100 other parents for an amazing hands-on weekend. That's a $1,700 value. You like saving 1700 bucks, right? I know I'd like that. It's, it's pretty great. All right, I have another bonus for you guys too. The first 20 people who sign up are going to get live access to Ofer in a once a month special class. In this class, Ofer is gonna take one of the most popular age appropriate movies, games, or books, and he'll show you how to use it for teaching your child the polymath principles of pattern recognition, pattern design, and analogy. And this will exponentially increase the learning opportunities for your child in their everyday lives. Mom and dad, are, are you guys with me? I wanna make sure you're here. Yeah? All right. So to recap, you're getting the full video recordings of the Toronto Parents Workshop. You're getting the Games Accelerated Program to start right away. You're getting twice a month live Q&A sessions. You're getting the private member community, a 50% savings on the upcoming Orlando event, and you're getting exclusive live access to Ofer's special once a month class that takes the fast method and puts it into pop culture, exponentially increasing your child's grasp on the three skills that will be most important in their future. Look, if all this did was bring you and your child together for 90 minutes of quality time each month, wouldn't it be worth it? And if all it did was give you guys fun activities to do each day, wouldn't it be worth it? If all it did was give you the confidence that you're doing everything that you can to give your child an edge on the future, wouldn't it be worth it? I don't know about you, but I would trade $31,000 for those benefits all day long. Your kids are worth it, right? Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to charge you anything close to that. But you've got to ask yourself, what's your child's academic and future success worth to you? You know, a $400,000 college education doesn't guarantee success anymore. There's actually $1.5 trillion in student loan debt 
1 million people who have defaulted on their student loans each year and over 88 billion in delinquent student loans right now. Who wants to saddle their kids with debt? Not me. So how much would you pay to give your child skills that they don't teach in schools? $5,000, $10,000, $25,000 or, or more? I personally invested $90,000 in preschool for my kids. Yes, preschool. How crazy is that? Didn't even learn any of this stuff. So how much would you pay to give your child that extra edge in life? These skills are already so valuable. A major automaker just offered over $80,000 to propose how to implement FAST in their workforce just for a proposal because the skills were never taught to their workers and they're not being taught today. But this huge company needs their workers to speak and think in the language of innovation. Mom and dad, you could see how the parents who attended the Toronto workshop and they paid $3,300. They would think that this would be an excellent value at $5,000. Can you see that? Yeah. Well, our mission here at Games of Genius is to change the world and prepare our children for success in the future. So we want this program to be accessible to everyone, regardless of budget. And here's why we're offering the Games of Genius program right now for $399 for a one-year membership. Because you're a super mom and a super dad and a super grandparent, we want to make sure that you can do everything possible to raise a successful child. To get started, now for just $399 for the first year, I'm gonna put a button up there for you. I want you to go ahead, it's at the bottom right. I want you to click that button, or I want you to go ahead and navigate over to www.gamesofgenius.com forward slash go. We're making this offer very affordable. Parents, grandparents, you guys with me? I'm sure you can relate to this. You've spent more than that on presents and on toys that your child played with for a day and it either broke or the kids lost interest. And if you're a grandparent, you've got lots of grandchildren. Well, the good news is this is something all of them can share. Remember, there is a time investment too. And this is what's going to separate the super moms and the super dads from all the rest. You see, we want parents to be part of this only if they're willing to show up for their kids. Only if you're willing to devote some time, seven minutes a day. And we want parents who will be involved. And no, we don't like working with the type of parent who expects somebody else to raise their kid for him. We want the type of parent that will take action. The type of super parent who will do what it takes to make things happen. If you're the type that thinks the school should do it, if you're the type who's just too busy, if you're the type who's afraid of trying something new, go ahead and hang up now. But if you want to take positive actions to give your child an edge, join us now. The URL again is www.gamesofgenius.com forward slash go. So to recap, you're getting the full video recordings of the live Toronto Parents Workshop. You're getting the accelerated program to start playing the award-winning games right away. You're getting a twice a month live Q&A session with Ofer. You're getting access to the private member community on Facebook. You're saving $1,700 on the upcoming Orlando event. And you're getting Ofer's special once a month class on taking the fast method into pop culture with movies and books and all the things your kids love exponentially increasing your child's grasp on the three skills that is going to be most important in their future. And you're getting all of that for $399 for your first year of membership. The real question that you have to ask yourself is this, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? If it even does half of what I've claimed today on this live training, it would pay for itself, right? The way it is, mom and dad is you can have a successful child or you can have excuses. That's it. Those are your two options. You can sign up and begin today, or you can make an excuse. You don't have the time. You don't have the money. It doesn't matter what it is. But the reality is you can't have both. You can have a successful child or excuses. Let me show you what you can do next. Click the button that's at the bottom right. It says, yes, I want this for my child. Or go ahead and type into your browser, www.gamesofgenius.com forward slash go. And you're going to see an offer there. You just enter your information, use a major credit card, and you'll get immediate access. You're getting all of this, tens of thousands of dollars in value. You're getting the full video recordings of the live Toronto Parents Workshop, in which Ofer explains the entire FAST methodology. You're getting the accelerated program to start playing the award-winning games with your child right away.
You're getting the twice a month live Q&A sessions with Ofer. You're getting access to the Games of Genius private member community, and you'll get support and share ideas with other parents just like you. And you're getting a huge discount on the upcoming Orlando event and Ofer's special once a month class on using the FAST method with movies and books and games, the same ones that your child loves, exponentially increasing your child's grasp of the three skills that's going to be most important in their future. And you're getting all of this for $399 for the first year's membership. If you want to pay monthly, want to just dip your toe and see what it's all about, well, you could start now for just $97 a month. Now, over the course of a year, the $399 option is a far better choice. You'll save 65%, but we don't want the upfront investment to be an issue. That stops you from giving this remarkable gift to your child. Now, I want you to choose the subscription that works best for you so you can finally say goodbye to the other things you've been trying. You could say goodbye to flashcards, say goodbye to that feeling of guilt when you plug your kids into an electronic device. We all know that one. Say goodbye to that feeling of uncertainty because you know you're doing all you can to give your child the best shot at success. Because with your subscription to Games of Genius, you could say goodbye to the fear that the schools are failing to prepare our kids. And you could say goodbye to not knowing how to play with your kids. You could say goodbye to relying on so-called experts. You could say goodbye to all of that. This is what to do right now. Click the button and take advantage of this offer and claim your bonuses before they're gone. Or navigate over to www.gamesofgenius.com forward slash go right now. Do you see how this could help you, mom and dad? You guys are super parents, aren't you? I know it. Look, if you only got fun and educational activities to play with your child each day for the rest of the year, this would still be a worthwhile investment. But on top of that, I'm giving you so much more. You're getting the full video recordings of the Live Toronto Parents Workshop. You're going to learn all about the FAST method, how it works, why it works, and it's going to open your eyes to the patterns that are everywhere. You're getting the accelerated program so you could start playing the award-winning games with your child right away. And you're getting the twice a month live Q&A sessions with Ofer. You're getting access to the Games of Genius private member community. You'll get support and share ideas with other parents just like you. And a huge discount on the upcoming Orlando event. And again, that special once a month class where Ofer is going to use the fast method and he's going to tie it into movies and books and games that your child already loves, exponentially increasing your child's grasp of the three skills that will be most important in their future. And you get all of that for $399 for your first year of membership or just for $97 a month. It's your choice. So go ahead right now and click on the button below or navigate over to www.gamesofgenius.com forward slash go. Ofer, I want to just say thanks for sticking around as I explain how all these super moms and dads can get involved in how to raise a uh, successful child. And we have a, a bunch of questions that came in from the last uh, time that we did this training and a few others that have come in today. Uh, can you stick around with me for maybe the next 20 minutes or so and, and help me answer them? Sure, Mark. <laughs> what I need to know what the audience will really like to know. Sure, sure. So here's a question. Uh, are all of the games online? Mm. The course materials, yes, they are online, but okay, this is the place where you can learn and how to use the technique. But the game itself is being played offline at the kitchen table, okay, the, okay, at the hall, outside the house. This is what we call interactive because you will actually be interacting with your child. <laughs> it's, that's the original definition of interactive. It's so funny these days. They, you know, they call video games interactive, and they're, there's, they're not at all, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So this is that's great. Uh, well, so the games are offline. You got that, mom? All right, cool. So um, another question is, why do we assert that it's pattern recognition, pattern design, and analogy uh, that those are the skills that kids need? What about coding or reading or math? Well, if you look at coding, you will find that you need a high level skill in pattern recognition and pattern design first of all you have to go to the basics first if you go to math it's about patterns that you need to understand them the moment you understand them it's easy if you go to reading into stories into scripts you will see their patterns there their structures their systems and you need to see those patterns and redesign them to create something new so pattern recognition is the basic look at the child how he learns when when the child is like you know two years old or one year old he's learning he's looking at those patterns of your behavior in order to copy you or in order to seduce you because the child is learning that if he will cry this way he will get his candy and if he will cry this way you will not send him to school today they are learning those patterns you know they are they're analyzing them all the time and that's the way children learn naturally until we'll kill it when we send them to school 
Uh, well, you know what? You, you brought up a term earlier, and we've got a question on this. <clears throat> what, what is polymath thinking? Well, I will tell you this. First of all, if people really want to know what polymath is, just type Wikipedia, okay, and go to polymath. There's a whole explanation about polymath. It's not my, my invention. The basic person who was a, a genius in that field was Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo mm. da Vinci was able to understand science, arts, technology, everything in the same way. He was able to do analogies between field and understanding patterns and then make an analogy of that pattern to another field. He was what we used to call a Renaissance man. Over the years, yes. we have been teaching people to have professions. However, since everything is being automated now and on artificial intelligence, we again need to become Renaissance men of these times. Okay. So, you know, the, the, the person who described it beautifully in, in, in the 13th century was Battista Albert, when he said, a, 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 a Renaissance man or a polymath thinker is a man who can do all things if he wills. So we found it in many ways in Howard Gardner uh, research and so on. But let me explain to you one thing. The mm -hmm. polymath thinker has high level of curiosity and imagination. And he's using pattern recognition to understand the world and imagine new patterns to design them and co new compositions. But if you look at today's most probably richest and successful people in the world, all of them has these two elements, curiosity and imagination, understanding data, being able to analyze patterns and data and make analogies from other fields. If you look at Jeff Bezos, if you look at Steve Jobs, if you look mm. at Steve Wozniak, Elon Musk, okay, Jack Ma, Mark Zuckerberg, these are all polymath thinkers. Their level of curiosity is finding different ways, different models, different business models, different technologies that are changing the world is because of their technology and their high level of imagination, which pattern recognition, pattern design is the essence of it. Okay, now, <clears throat> if you go backwards a little bit, uh, you know, 100 years ago, it was Leonardo. 100 years ago, it was Tesla. And, you know, people think that Tesla is a car, but Tesla was, I mean, the most amazing innovator, you know, like in the world. If you look yeah, at Nikola Albert Tesla, Einstein, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you learn about Albert Einstein or Leonardo or Elon Musk or Steve Wozniak, all these people, hey, high level curiosity. And what they did and what they still do is pattern recognition. They understand the patterns of behavior on Facebook so they can analyze your emotions. <laughs> this is what they do in those patterns, you know, using words that people write, you know. This mm. is the expertise of this world. When we combine everything from different fields together and be able to analy analyze them, data analysis, you know, and other different analysis, in order to create new, better products and services that can serve millions of people. Yeah, and and so the the, the pattern recognition uh, and and uh, and pattern design and analogy that's that's the ABCs of polymath, as you said. That's really interesting stuff. Well, yeah. you know, we, we've got another question here over um, <laughs> if machines and artificial intelligence will replace doctors and lawyers and <clears throat> people clerks clerks in retail, uh, where we're already seeing this. You know, what's going to be left for people? Well, let's go backwards for a second. You know, uh, we see that robots take places of human. I mean, you can see robots can, can cook and get two Michelin stars, and you can see robots that can do so many amazing things, and robots that can build robots, and robots that can build uh, uh, you know, cars, autonomous cars, and electric cars. It's all robots doing this. So the hard work will be done by robotics. The management of the robots will be done by artificial intelligence, which means it, they will analyze data. So every time a person is, is uh, driving with a Tesla, the data is being sent to a central uh, you know, um, uh, computer, and the computer is analyzing 20,000 drivers in order to teach the car to drive like 20,000 people instead of having, you know, one person wow. who knows a little bit about the world. Now, AI will manage data and even will make decisions. The, the, the AI will make decision how to drive the car. Please remember that. And the car was built by robot and the car by itself is a robot. It's automated. So what is left for human? The invention part, the research and development. You know, kids, they can search online, but do they know how to research online? And, and development, what does it mean? How do you take data that you found and you create something new, a new solution, a new product to the world that will be created by machines, by robots, and will be managed by AI? What is left for us is research and development. And I believe that there's, there are more than 2 billion people around there, 1 billion human um, adults and 1 billion kids who are totally not ready for research and development, which mm -hmm. is the future. If you go to Amazon, you know how much money they pay to hire a person in research and development no. more than any company in the world. And why wow. is that? Because this is the future. Hmm, that's amazing. Well, uh, let's see, we have another question. We, let's get to this other question, shall we? So is the is the Games of Genius program only <clears throat> games? Uh, yes, 
it's only games. <laughs> <laughs> it's only games, but you need to understand that something will happen to you playing those games. You will restructure how you see the world, how you feel the world, how you smell the world, how you understand the world. So is it only games or is it a total change of what I call data set instead of mindset? You know, mindset is kind of vague, but this is changing of data set, how your brain will function. Of course, there are games, thousands of games, there are a lot of ideas and concepts. And over time, you will create your own games. Yes, it's quite simple, but it's moving, it's moving very fast to change our abilities. Wow. And, and are, are these games like video games? No, of course not. Yes, you'll get your videos in order to understand how to play. This is real life games. Of course, if the child is playing on some kind of an Xbox and you can do, you know, pattern recognition there and you can use the data then to play, uh, you know, um, basketball with his, with his father or with his friends, that's great because they can do it. They can, they can use data being transferred. But the games are not video games. These are real games with feeling and touching each other with compassion and competition and achievements in the real world. Now oh, that's great. Doesn't that sound great? Moms and dads. Yeah, it's, it's actual like real interaction. <laughs> so we have another question that came in in the last session. <clears throat> my, my child is on the autism spectrum. Is Games of Genius appropriate? Well, <clears throat> this, is, this is a hard question. So um, look, um, we are raising one, one child and she's on the spectrum and we've used a lot of those skills on those games to try to, you know, let her play with it and understand the world and understand communication skills and so on. And it worked nicely. Statistically, it doesn't say that it will work on all of them. However, when we started to work in the Czech Republic in, in nine different cities and in tens of schools, there are classes with a lot of kids on the spectrum. And we found they, they love it so much because kind of logically they can understand emotions and logically they can understand communication. And there are a lot of games there. And one of the games we're using is, is a drawing comics in a very mm -hmm. systematic way. And through those comics, the child starts to understand. It does facial recognition. You understand what it means. What is the feeling of things? And for children with, 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 who are on the spectrum, you know, to develop their IQ is not a crucial thing because they usually have a very high IQ. However, they don't know how to transfer it into the real world, and this is what we do. So is it good for them? I believe that it, truthfully, you know, that it is very appropriate for them as far as we, we have seen. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, parents, if you're considering it, if that's your child, you know, you can give it a try, can't you? You know, worst case scenario is you try it. So, all right, Ofer, we have another question that came in here. Um, do we need any special equipment to play the games? No, basically, you can use any equipment that you find in the house. That's kind of the easiest way. However, it would be nice if you will have some, you know, some of the right toys at home that you can get somewhere, like a xylophone. Okay, or like a piano, or like, you know, something that you can play music. That for martial arts, you don't need it. For cooking, you go to the kitchen. For chess, yeah, you need a chess board and, you know, and, and but most of the skill, most of the things you can find in, like in stores, or, but it's not so special. Most of the most of the most of those things you can find probably at home. You probably already uh, own them. Ah, great. Well, and and what's the ideal age to start this with my children? <clears throat> um, I would say this: we started it with kids of five years old. And it worked beautifully. Some kids can start even at four years old. I would say, and the ideal age is after they finish their first uh, year in school or by starting the first year in school. Okay. Well, what we do like what we do like in Europe today and in Singapore, we take them in the first year and teach them this from first day in school. Okay. But you can you, you can go backwards a little bit and a year before to have it so the, the child will have advantage when he will get into class. Now yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, I, I mentioned sending my kids to preschool. Um, I remember sending them off to kindergarten with such a, such a, an edge. So they were so advanced over everybody else. Uh, but you know, then other people caught up, but they didn't have this, they didn't have this. So, ah, wow. Well, I wish I had this back then. So, um, here's another question that came up. What are your credentials as a teacher? That's really interesting. You know, I'm 62 and I'm teaching already for 59 years. And basically I started to teach my puppets when I was three years old. I, I just wanted to be a parent, you know, a teacher since I was born. It was very simple why I wanted it because my father was an amazing teacher. And then um, I was, you know, just admiring him and wanted to follow, you know, you know, his passion of teaching. Um, and, um, 
And, you know, during the years, I started to teach piano when I was 13 years old. And um, and I was a high school teacher for seven years in um, when I was uh, 27 years old. And uh, I trained uh, more than 3,000 musicians in my life. And then I trained another uh, 2,000 um, executives and uh, for, for companies in career development and other skills. And I built a, a rock school and a jazz department school and an entrepreneurship school. Basically, I, w I was in there forever. You know, that's that's my strongest passion is to teach and to write smart methodologies as smart as I can make them. As And for me, smart means simple. <laughs> that's the toughest definition of smart too, right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, this other question that we have here is how long will it take to begin to teach my child with your program? Uh, around three minutes. Watch wow. the video. Watch the video. <laughs> Look at this uh, uh, working page for two seconds and you got it. Just go and play with the child. I mean, you practice with him and he practices with you. He practices this with you. And then um, it's look, we have seen those children. They're just waiting for the moment to play those games. Just waiting for this moment. Okay, so it's yeah. quite easy. So you, you just go, you watch this video, which sometimes it's three minutes or four minutes video, and that's it. You you can just try it. And if you want to learn about the theory behind it and watch some other videos that we have, some more content, you can even do it later because you will see the results anyway. So if, even if we want to be more knowledgeable, then you can go and watch some more of the theory behind it and so on and so on. But to start, three minutes from now. Wow, that's great. You know, moms, dads, if if this is something where your kids are about to come home from school, perfect time, right? You can have something new. Wouldn't that be great? All right. Well, um, how many games are included in Games of Genius? <clears throat> um, I believe there are a couple of hundreds there. Overall, over the years, we, we will be able to share 14,400 games. However, there's no need really to use all of them because I've seen children who have done... 7,000 of them, you know, like in three years, and they're totally geniuses. <laughs> you don't need, they, 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 they never need to go through all these games, but we we have a couple of hundreds for now, so we can start immediately. And if you play one game a day, it takes seven minutes. I mean, you can finish 300 to 500 per year easily. Wow. Well, yeah, that, sound, that sounds great. And and that's just, it's it's seven minutes a day. That's, that's incredible. So, um, Ofer, we have a, another question that came in. I've, I have two children. My son is eight and my daughter is four. Uh, how could this be age appropriate for both of them? Well, look, it's, it's quite simple. They start from zero. The eight years old and the four years old, they start from zero because they're learning a new language. It's like, imagine you take your child and you teach him Japanese. If, he, if he's eight and, and if your daughter is four, Let's say they learn four words. Both of them will know four words. It's a new language. It's natural language, but it's, you know. And what happened is, because it's so surprising, you will see that the eight years old and the four years old will play together. And you will see other things. That sometimes the eight years old is really surprised by the ability of the four years old. And sometimes the four years old will admire, the, the uh, she will admire her brother of eight years old to showing more possibilities out there in the world of pattern recognition. Kids of four years old, they live by pattern recognition. And eight years old, before they will start to lose it, would love to go back there. So there's something so mutual between them. And you could put grandma in between them and she will enjoy it. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it just, it seems just so great, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, well, and, and then this question just comes up all the time. Does, does it really only take seven minutes a day? Yeah, you don't trust me, huh? Yes, it does, <laughs> you know, I was able, I work on this methodology for 18 years, okay? I, I invested, um, besides of, uh, I would say, probably thousands of tens of thousands of, of hours to research, to make it, um, and I spent like just on research for, for, for just for, for 18 years, I spent one and a half million dollars to, to research it, to see if it works. And the reason was, is how to simplify into something so basic, so mm -hmm. simple, that that does not require too much time. And you know, sometimes you can learn a thing in two minutes. If you have the right methodology or the right teacher, something that you have not been able to learn in 10 hours or 20 hours with the wrong teacher or the wrong methodology. We know it. So we condensed everything into seven minutes. And in those seven minutes, the results you get are totally amazing. That's great. Well, is it okay to skip a day? 
Yeah, why not? Of course you can skip a day. It's not a punishment. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you should follow the program, but you know, if you want to take a day off, take a day off. Let's see if your child will want to take a day off. I, I, I think that's, be in, that's a real you, test, yeah. You, you will be in trouble because they will want to do it again and again. And you can do it everywhere. I mean, you go on vacation, you can do it everywhere. You go to the mountains, you do pattern recognition. You go to the woods, you do pattern recognition. You go hiking, you do pattern recognition. It's, it's not something that you just have to do the exercise. The exercise become a language. and Suddenly you can see it everywhere. And you redesign things. You design things out outdoors in 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 the, in, 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 the in your yard in, everywhere. It will be everywhere. You would start to invent your own games based on it. So I don't think you will skip a day. But if you want to skip, good luck to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? People's lives are busy. But you know, as long as as long as parents, as long as you're putting in the time, you could do that. It's it's seven minutes, right? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, this question came up. How how can pattern design Make my kids successful. Let me tell you this. Um, if you look at, um, at this, Steve Jobs, okay, he came from design. He was not a technology guy. Okay, he was an artist. And he got a good friend, Steve Wozniak, and both of them invented, you know, Apple. And one of the things I've designed, okay, designed, and I'm saying designed, was uh, the iPhone. One of them was the designer of the idea. One of them was the technology expert behind it. And they had a team of research and development, of course, to create um, the iPhone and so on. Mm -hmm. Design is everywhere. So if you do pattern design, you start to notice, first of all, other designs and implement them in your life. Because you can design a robot and you can design a game and you can design um, a relationship. This, this is all about design. And you take the analogies from those designs that you are making. You see, 60% of what we do in our life, even more, is visual. And design is very important because our world is, most of it is visual. A little bit is taste and sound and so on. And if you look at all the products in the world, it's about design. And, and the landing pages are about design. And books are about design. It's not only content. So a child is successful because he understands how to analyze patterns and how to design new patterns or design new technologies or design new concepts. And if you look at those successful people that I talked before, you know, Elon Musk, they are designers mm -hmm. by nature. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally creative. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Ofer, for sticking around to answer those questions from the super moms and dads who have joined us. Well, first of all, you're welcome, Mark. And I, I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone here again soon, as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. I really want to follow. I really want to see. And I really want to help. Uh, isn't he great? Mom and dad, oh, for, he, he is a good man, isn't he? And he really does want to help. Can you feel that? Yeah. Well, last two things. I promised you guys something very special, and I am going to deliver that right now. I'm going to put into the chat uh, a link, and that link uh, is going to give you access to one of the lessons from inside of the Toronto Parents Workshop. Uh, that link is there right now. I call this game the clapping game. It's not the first game that you're going to play with your kids. But I want you to see how Ofer takes something that is really complex and uses mathematics to simplify how he breaks down the patterns. You will be amazed. And that is our free gift to you. So that's it for our time today. I want to thank all of you for joining me. You are truly super moms and super dads and super grandparents too. So do this for your child. Do not wait any longer. Click the button that's on the right or type into your browser, www.gamesofgenius.com forward slash go. You're going to see the offer that we talked about, enter your information, sign up, and you'll get immediate access. You're getting everything. It's a huge value. You're getting the full recordings of the live Toronto Parents Workshop, in which Ofer explains the entire FAST methodology. You're getting the accelerated program to start playing the award-winning games with your child right away. And you're getting a twice-a-month live Q&A session with Ofer. You're getting access to the Games of Genius private member community to get support and share ideas with other parents just like you. And you're getting a huge discount on the upcoming Orlando event. And you're getting Ofer's special once a month class on using the FAST method with movies and books and games that your child loves, exponentially increasing your child's grasp on the three skills that would be most important in their future. You're getting all of that for $399 for your first year of membership with a 30 day money back guarantee, or you can go on a monthly basis and you could start now for just $97 per month. So go ahead, mom and dad, 
don't leave your child's future in the hands of some school administrator and don't plug them into videos all day. Do something that will help your child succeed. Prepare them for the future. Be a super parent. Peace and love to all of you. And thank you so much again for joining us.